All right, to create a model file, we can do it manually by just going into a, a folder structure and create them, but there's an automatic way to do that. To create our model files, we could just come to the app folder here and inside the HTTP and start creating them and dumping them here. But what we could do, uh, as you can see, there is a user's model already. When we run, when we run our PHP artisan make auth, it's created a user model. So we can just manually add new files here, but then we can do it from the command line, which is much easier. So from the command line, let us create, um, let us create a, a model PHP artisan for one of our tables. Make model. So the name of the model we are creating is project because we have a project table. And remember, it must be in singular on our database. So I click this. It has created it successfully. So if we look. In this folder, we'll see that a model uh, for project has been created. If I look at it, you see that um, it has done the basics for us, which is written some some code here, which we can now carry on from here on, from then on. So, but I would like to create all the models once so that we can just carry on. So, apart from this, we have task. We have task. Then we have um, comment. Then we have company. I think this pretty much uh, sorts it all out. So what we're going to do from then on is um, from the next video, we will see how to create the controllers. But now let us finish creating the model. So let us be sure that we've created all the models. If we go to the browser, we'll see that we've created comments, we've created companies, uh, we've created projects. We've not created project user, which we'll have to do. And uh, we've not created roles and task user. So let's quickly do them project user roles and task user. So from here, we're going to do a project user, project user. And then we're going to do a task user, right? Task user. And then we're going to do a role. And that pretty much sorts it all out. So we'll start from the first one we did, which is the project. So if you go to your database, it will click on projects so that we can see the fields there. In Laravel, you have to let the fields be fillable because Laravel prevents something called mass assignment. So uh, you can just fill a field that you've not declared. So even if the field exists in your database, you can create a form in your view that, that somebody can use to fill a field. If you've not declared it in your model so we have to declare all the fields we want to be assignable so our project has a name then we have to add description company id user id and um, so on and so forth so i'll just make this a little minimized so that we can have we can be peeping out what we're doing so we have name so i want to make this to look like this because I'm that kind of programmer. So I'll organize it properly the way I want. So I'm going to add description. I'm looking at this place. So I'm going to add description. So because we want people to be able to fill a form and um, add description, then we have to add company ID. Because we want it to be filled from the form, then we have to add user ID. So if there's a field you don't want people to be able to fill, then uh, you have to leave it out or you put it in guarded. So have this. And then we have, um, I think that pretty much sorts it all out. All these other ones will be taken care of automatically by Laravel, created and updated that have been taken care of by Laravel automatically. So this pretty much sorts our first uh, basic problem. The next thing we have to do is to define the relationships. All right. So, but then we will have to do that in the next video. So what I want you to do, to, to do as an assignment in all these videos uh, before the next video is to go to each of your table in your database and do exactly what we did here, which means um, copy the fields and put them in the field label. For instance, just copy what we have here, go to company and uh, company model and inside here, just add it. So in company model, we just have a, an ID, uh, a name. Every company just has a name. All right. And then I think probably that's it. So do it for all the tables that we created so that in the next video, I would have done mine. We can jump onto the next thing and um, enjoy ourselves.